Hello guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Delighted to be joined with Ramez Mahmood. Glad to get him back on as he is 13 wins, two defeats. So he's had two fights since I've last had him on. And um, he's got a big title fight that we will get on to in a minute. It's an English title fight. Live at York called Bethnal Green on the 24th of February against undefeated Jordan Perkis. I know you've sparred Jordan, but we'll get on to that later. So, firstly, um, <coughs> the fight I was there, uh, you fought unbeaten Marcus Hodgson. So, that that was a good win. H how did you feel that fight went? Yeah, I thought I boxed well on that night. Um, and it was there's a lot of like mental stress going in because I was coming off the loss to Jack Bateson. Um, it was a long layoff. So, there's a lot of mental stress, but I thought I boxed well. I won every round. And Marcus Hodgson come to give it. He wasn't going to give up his unbeaten record easy. So, yeah, I was pleased to get that and just get the ball back rolling. Yeah. Good atmosphere in there, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Yeah, it was, yes. Um, it was, it was, I think that was like one of the first shows or, yeah, one off within the first few months of crowds being back. So it was nice to have, ticket, to have tickets and sell tickets and be back home. So the atmosphere was going to, always going to be good. Yes, it was a good night of boxing and you got back on to winning ways. And then I think you were you were you were meant to fight <coughs> Marcus again um for the southern area, but um I think you got injured, didn't you? Well, Marcus Hodgson actually pulled out of that start with due to not being able to make weight. So it was never gonna be a title fight in the last week. I think he boxed anyway, but it was literally like 12, 13 pounds heavier than what we would have boxed at. So I was told it wasn't going to be a title fight, there's going to be a different opponent. And I was carrying an injury anyway. So I thought if it's not a title fight, there's no point. So mm. I would have boxed Marcus Hudson injured, to be honest, if it was a title fight. But if it wasn't a title fight, there would be no point. So yeah, I sat that one out. Yeah, fair enough, mate. And you've already beat him quite convincingly. So you don't yeah. really need this, to run it back. This is it. Like, if it was a title fight, then fair enough. There's some sort of point to it, but otherwise, there really was no point. Um, when I was told that we weren't gonna be a title fight, and he was not. He was not gonna get anywhere near the championship weight. At that point, there was there was not no point really. Mm, that is fair enough. But uh, and then you boxed Stephen Maguire. Was that the fight to stay active, really? Yeah. So I was. I wasn't actually initially meant to box Stephen Maguire. It was, it was, I was meant to box the week before that yes. against a Nick Wagon opponent. But then that show got called off. And fair play Steve Maguire does his job really <coughs> well. Um, jumped in um, on short notice and gave me the rounds and gave me a good fight. So, yeah, that was to stay busy and just keep the momentum going. As I said, going into the Hodgson fight, I had, I had quite a lot of time out. And then going to the Bateson fight, I had about 17 months out. So it was always good to keep active, and that's what I've been doing so far. Yeah, and now, um, so when you fought um, Stephen Maguire, did you know that like that English title fight was the next move? No, I did. I didn't actually. No, like I knew that something big potentially could have been coming, but I wasn't sure what it was or who who it would have been. Um, so yeah, I didn't have a clue that what, what was going to come. Of course, um, like you were at Jordan Perkis v Ryan Walker, weren't you? And you've, am I right in saying you've sparred both? Yeah, yeah. So I was at the fight, and um, I, I sparred Jordan going into that fight, and I've grown up around Ryan. I've known Ryan for years. Um, so I, I was, I was only going just just to watch a good fight. I didn't really look at it as I'm looking at a potential opponent. It was just going to watch a good fight. And as I said, I've known Ryan for years, um, sort of thing. So that's the reason I was there, to be honest. I mean, I... Who did you think was going to win? Um, going into the fight, I thought it was a good 50-50. I actually thought... Um, I actually thought Ryan might might be a bit too experienced for him on um, on the night, but Jordan boxed well on the night, so fair play to him. It, it was a good fight. 
it, and and you v Jordan's going to be a great fight, mate. I'll hopefully yeah. I'll be there. I won't get tickets off either of you because I want to stay in the middle. But make the best man win. No, that's yeah, that's fair enough, mate. But yeah, it'll be good to see you on the day, and yeah, it's definitely going to be a good fight. Yes, mate. So ten. So are you happy that you've got another shot at the English because? Against, I think you fought Bateson for the English, didn't you? And you unfortunately came up short. But um, yeah, you've got another shot at the English. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pleased. I'm pleased about that. Um, and I'm pleased that that is in London as well. So yeah, and this time I, I want to make it count. Yes. So was camp already started for you? Um, <coughs> I want to say we're like deep into camp, but obviously you're all sort of ticking over. Um, got to get the festive period out of the way mm. and then we'll probably up the intensity from there. But yeah, we're all sort of ticking over. Yeah. So so were you glad when your teammate of Shabazz Masood beat Jack because he revenged uh, your win for you? <laughs> yeah, Sh- Sh- Shabazz went for revenge, but I'm I'm just pleased for Shabazz. Not I don't I'm pleased because not just not for the revenge side of it, like take that out of it. I mean, I've seen Shabazz in the gym and it was hard for him to get opportunities. No one was giving him opportunities. And I saw him in the gym like consistently and he weren't getting fights. And um, for him to finally get that opportunity to show what he's about, I'm more pleased about that than anything else. It's not about the revenge because I want Jack to do well as well. Jack's a good lad. He is. Um, but I'm just so pleased that Shabazz um, announced himself on that level. And he, he did. And now, people, from here. and now people want to see him with the likes of Liam Davis and McCann. This is what I mean, yeah. I mean, Shabazz has always been that level, but just hasn't had the fights to show that. But now he's he's showing that now. You're mixing into like hope with Hopi Price, but because Perkis is just. Do you think you're a step too far for Jordan? Well, he's all well and good saying it. I've got to show it on the night, so I'm not going to say I'm a step too far or anything because I'm sure a lot of people said that going to Ryan Walker fight and he won that, so. Um, I'm not going to say I'm a step too far. I aim to show that in the ring. Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Is your so? Are you not signed with um Steve Goodwin anymore? Is that not? I I was never actually signed to Steve Goodwin. My old manager Mickey Amu um worked closely with Goodwin, so that's why I was always on the Steve Goodwin shows. I've um my contract ran out with Mickey, and I'm now managed by Ben Davison. Oh, so um, you're with him and he, so doesn't he, so you're always like in the gym with the likes of Lee Wood, Shabazz. Yeah, so I'm also um, training around those boys in the same gym as them, yeah. So do you spar like Barney Smith as he's like your weight and stuff? Who's that, sorry? Royston. Um, I've done a few, I've done a few rounds of Royston before yeah I mean around around the way there's loads of boys for sparring so yeah I've, I've mixed it with, with a fair few of them that's good that you've got good sparring in your gym at your weight so if you ever have a pull out you could just get someone in last minute that's always good having people in your gym similar weight this is it because even um you mentioned Royston like as I said in my last fight I was meant to box a Nicol Wagwin um who was an orthodox so I had all orthodox sparring and then that show got cancelled. And then I got I had Steve Maguire, who was a Southpaw. Obviously, um, not many people in this gym are Southpaw except Royston. So Royston um, helped me out with a few jewels going into that Steve Maguire fight, just so I can have a look at the Southpaw looks. I think that Royston fought the same uh, Nigu Aggie and that you were meant to be fighting. Yeah, yeah, he did. And, and he done him. So, <laughs> so yeah, Royston same did. Same thing would have happened if you fought him, though, mate. Oh, hopefully, yeah, but Royston's doing well and he, he's starting to sleep people. He's a good fighter. Is he the weight above you? Um, I believe Royston's a super featherweight, so a couple of weights above me. And are you fighting Jordan for the English at just Bantam? That's a Bantam weight, yeah. Is there going to be like a press conference or a face-to-face with you? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you yet. I'm, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Um, Hopefully there will be, but I, I couldn't tell you if, if there will be or not. <clears throat> Do you have the ticket prices on you or? 
Not yet. No, not yet. I, I imagine they'll. I imagine they'll come out close to the new year. Um, yeah. So, um, once they are, I'm sure I'll be putting on my social media and whatnot. And if you want to come, like, get a hold of one of the fans in the undercard or something, and you can get a ticket of one of them or something like that. Oh yeah, mate. I can't miss this fight. This fight's gonna be war. It's just. Unfortunate for me that both of the people I want, I both want to see you win it. But of course, there's only one man who can win it, and um, it would just yeah. you know if if there's a knockout for either man, that'd be even better because you don't get paid for overtime. This is it? Yeah, like obviously, um, I'm, I don't think there's any bad blood. It's just it's just business, and both of us are coming to do a job. Yeah, and I'm sure you never know, um. Wait, so what does the English title mean to you? Like, what if you win it, what what would it mean to you if you won that English title? Yeah, that would be, that'd be really good for me to say I'm the champion of England is what dreams are made of and what comes off the back of that. Um, like TV, so maybe, much. mate. So Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. Like, it opens so many opportunities for me. It will do. And even if you do come up short, I'm sure there's other routes as well you could go. International. Yeah, I'm thinking down. Yeah, but no, we don't I'm want it, you. Down. I'm not. I don't want you to think down that route. We just want yeah. both of you to focus on this. Hundred percent. That's all your mind what, focus on Jordan for this for this war. That, that's that's exactly it. You can't think too far ahead. It's one step at a time, and that's that's the only man on my, on my mind right now. Yes, mate. What is Ben Davison gonna be in your corner for the fight? Um, I'm I'm not hundred percent sure he's doing the corners yet because it depends on um what's going on with the other boys at the gym as well because we've got quite a few boys around the gym who might be out around similar dates. Um, Lee Wood's got a date to be announced soon. Um, Pat McCormack, Mark Dixon has dates to announce soon. So, um, should. Like Shabazz will have a date to announce soon. So it just depends on on how the dates how the dates. I mean, slide. he is busy, mate. Yeah, it's a, it's a busy gym now. All the boys how, in the How in the many gym. fighters? Oh, you got Congo as well, haven't you? Yeah, but he's got he's got a big fight to be announced soon as well. well that should be good. That should be good. Because yeah. I've seen on your story that you try and go to as many as you can to like support your gym mates. Yeah, like, obviously we're available. Like I, I will go to shows and and cheer them on um, where I can. Yeah, and I'm sure they'll do the same for your big fight. 100 percent, mate. Hopefully, like there's no clashes of dates or anything. I, d- I don't think it will be, but hopefully yeah, be you're nice. not on the same day as them because that was just a nightmare. Especially for yeah, the coaches because they want to be in that corner, that corner. But have you got like another trainer? Because you train by Ben, but is there anyone else who helps? Well, this this is it because down the gym is Barry who I do, who I do quite most of the training with. You got Barry and Ben, um, and then you have got Lee Wiley who does. A lot of the like analyst stuff as well. So there's there's three of them there, uh, um, and they'll sort like we, they'll have a good plan in place. I'm not going to worry about that. They'll <coughs> they'll know what they're doing. Yeah, it's fine, mate. Don't worry. You don't need to worry about that. No, exactly. That's the main thing. And um, so how long? Because I know you were with them for the Marcus fight and your last fight, but how long have you actually been trained? By Ben and that lot down in that gym. So, um, I've been in that gym for probably just over a year now. Um, that after my after the split with uh, my last trainer, I was just doing like a bit of sparring down there, and Ben linked me up with Barry Smith. Um, and yeah, we we gelled quite well. Um, me and Barry and Ben helps out as well. So yeah, it's, it's all good. We got a good. Good, good little system in place. Ah, oh, so you've so you've done that. Um, um, so you're good with him, which is good. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, we're all fine. And it's, I'm, I think I'm showing my improvements. I just got to show it on the night, really. Do you think you're improving every? Do you think you've? How far do you think you've come from that Jack Bates and defeat? Oh, ma- massively! I feel like I've come so much since I'm a completely different man now. Um, and and yeah, I feel like on that night I just I really badly underperformed, and that could be mm-hmm. down to lots of factors. But I'm not going to get into that. It's just moving forward now. Yeah, it's just eyes on Jordan. And um, 
how are you doing with the tickets or how, are you not starting to worry about them because it's not, you've got plenty of time to get these tickets out or well yeah i haven't actually got any tickets i haven't got the tickets just yet um so but i think i'll do all right with this one especially with it being english title fight being in london i think i'll be all right with them I think there might be a British title on there as well. So that would be a good night, even better. Yeah. British, yeah, it's... you as well for the English, and I'm sure there's other fights, but that's all yeah, up on box rec at the minute, so I can't, you know. Yeah, I think, but... I think the show's shaping up to be a very good show, and I'm sure me and Jordan can, can steal the show on it. Oh, 100% you're going to steal the show. That's the fight I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah, it's going to be some fight. But it's yeah, always it's good, good watching you both fight. I like both of your styles. It's, it's I, As you've sparred, it might mash into a good fight or you never know. He Because you've sparred each other, you might go in. He might go in with a total different game plan and you might... Because sparring, sparring, isn't it? This is it. Like You, you don't want to overlook the spars because... Um, it, it could be a completely different thing in the ring that I sort of, I'm trying, I'm going to forget about the spars really, just look at it as a completely different fight. And I'm sure he will as well. And he, he'll probably try something different. I might try something different. Or I might not. You never know. Just see how I feel when I get in there. I'm sure you don't want to give the game plan away. No, nah, this is it. <clears throat> like, and it's all well good having the game plan, but it might just change when you're in there. You never know. So you never know, mate. You just but it's always good to have a game plan just in case. Or sometimes if he comes out different, you 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 never know. You it, it you'll see how you feel on the night of the fight. Boxing, yeah, is you you never know. Anything can change when you're in there. So we'll, I'll make my adaptations as we go along. Are you still teaching maths as well? I'm still teaching maths, yeah. So obviously we're on the Christmas holidays now. Um, but yeah, I'll be back um in, during January. So yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you'll. Um, I'm sure they'll all be proud of you if you're walking into assembly with the English title around your waist. I'm, I think the head teacher might let you have a day off if you would, mate. <laughs> I hope so, but I doubt it. I, I, I think I think I'll still be in the next week. Um, as you do, but it, it's all right. I'm used to that now. Yeah, that's fair enough. Do Do they come to your fights? Um, not the kids, but um, some some of the staff members do, like the other teachers do sometimes. Mm. I'm sure they will be there cheering for you for the English, mate. Hopefully, mate. Yeah, that'd be good. And before I let you go again, do you want to shout out anyone? Just sponsors, manager, trainer, just anyone. Yeah, so um, obviously a big shout out to, to Barry Smith, um, Lee Wiley, Ben Davison, um, all the boys in the gym. Um, for all the help they give me, precision build and development, for all the work, for all the sponsorship, um, and yeah, all my friends and family and fans for all the support and for yeah. yourself for giving me the exposure. And um, good luck um with the fight, mate. All the best. Thank you very much. I appreciate that, Sam. Thank you, mate. I uh, might get you on fight week or maybe after the fight. Nice one. Speak soon, yeah. Speak soon, champ. Bye. Bye.